Hi, my name's Ian Goodwin. I'm from Agriculture Victoria. Uh, here we are at Plunkett Orchards in Ardmona. I've got with me Jason Shields, uh, who's the orchard manager here. And I'm just going to ask a few questions about the research we're doing here, which is part of the PIP3 Apple project. Um, and we're standing in front of a block of ruby pink where we're doing a crop load experiment. Um, so first of all, you know, when you've got an orchard block like this one here, uh, you know, how are you going about the process of trying to work out how many fruit to leave on a tree? Yeah, so, I mean, we basically, you know, we have a, our yield history from a block. So that's where we basically start from. And then we do some um, trunk diameter circumference work to try and see what the, the trees are capable of. And then, you know, then we work it out based basically off a yield per hectare, then back to a tree size and then what fruit weight we want and then we come up with a you know an average number of maybe 150 fruit per tree um you know the problem is is that getting 150 fruit on every tree like you know to get an average of 150 fruit on a tree that might mean that 25 percent of your trees are overcropped and 25 percent of your trees are undercropped so that's really where we're trying to get down to is being able to streamline so that every tree has the same work so every worker has the same amount of work to do to try and get efficiencies in growing fruit. So once you've got that crop established, you know, how, how do you go about trying to estimate yield? Uh, so at the moment we just do a lot of counting. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. So basically when we, when we prune we count buds and you know, when literally we have a person just driving behind that platform um, just counting every tenth tree or so in the block. So we probably count maybe 5% at least um, trees in in pruning to count how many buds um, and then when we go back to thinning we probably go down to counting every 10 percent of every trees to try and get a yield estimate but you know if we want 150 we find that we have counts from 75 to 250 within yeah. that block and and yeah. now it's just yeah. all about trying to work down to get that closer to the target each you know so that we consistently get the same crop every year yeah yeah so we're standing in front of the green atlas cartographer uh, basically a, 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 a platform of uh, electric vehicle platform where we've got a, you know sensors that are mounted on it um, you, you've your company's actually you know used this equipment for trying to count um, fruit within apple blocks uh, as part of this project we're trying to take it the next step and be able to use this you know the data that's collected from this to estimate fruit size uh, and also to estimate color and then um, you know, do the calculation so that we've got an estimate of yield from this machine. Um, so, you know, how, how useful do you think that's going to be for your, uh, the sort of stuff you've just been describing and the operation within the orchard? Yeah, so well, as you said, we, we trialled it like in the very pilot stages. I think we we're one of the first people to have it um, two seasons ago. Um, and yeah, we, we were pretty happy with the with what come out of it, we, we were pretty excited. Um, you know, the the mapping of showing us the uniform or the non-uniformity within a block over flowering and stuff was um, was pretty impressive. Um, then last year we did broad scale, we did every single block on our farm. Um, and it was, you know, same thing, just showing us the variability within the block was, was really good. Um, the next step is, is how do we take that data and be able to practically do something useful with that information. So we had a, a massive amount of information, but to actually be able to practically change anything is the next step forward that we need, really need to work with. So I think you know, going into the future, this sort, of, you know, this sort of work, this sort of machine is going to be invaluable, but it's just a matter of then coming up with tools that, you know, that complement it. So we'd like to think that we might get to a point at the end of this project with, for any block, we could take you know measurements up and down the rows, and then provide you with the sort of advice as to say, well, if you leave you know this many fruit per tree, you'll end up with this fruit fruit size and this fruit colour. Um, so all from the data that's generated by this machine. Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of potential behind the numbers and the stuff that we got um, yeah. with it. it. Yeah, it's just yeah. coming up with the practical solutions for it. Yeah, yeah, so, sure. Yeah, I think it's exciting. You know, for us to go forward into the future, whether it be with platforms or robots or any form of mechanization to make more things more efficient we have to be able to have a consistent canopy a consistent yield throughout the block so that everyone or everything has the same job to do to make it efficient right. thanks 
Jason, hope uh, we get a fair bit out of working together on this project. No worries, thanks Ian. Hmm.